Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to St. John's. We're going to start the evening off by singing a few carols and a few songs for you. Let's start by singing number 696, Holy Mary Revealing Your Son, number 696. Sacred of 
Please join in singing number 89, O Little Town of Bethlehem, number 89.
hope flickers in the sky. A tiny star lights up way up high. All across the land dawns a brand new morn. This comes to pass when a child is born. A silent wish sails the seven seas. The winds of change whisper in the trees. And the walls of doubt crumble, tossed and torn. This comes to pass when a child is born. A rosy hue settles all around. You've got to feel you're on solid ground. For a spell or two, no one seems forlorn. This comes to pass when a child is born. And all of this happens because the world is waiting, waiting for one child. Black, white, yellow, no one knows but a child that will grow up and turn tears to laughter, hate to love, war to peace, and everyone to everyone's neighbor, and misery and suffering will be words to be forgotten forever. now it must come true sometime soon somehow all across the land dawns a brand new morn this comes to pass when a child is born this comes to pass when a child is born.
please join in singing number 96. What child is this? Number 96. Happy. 
Good morning, everyone. Good evening. Good morning. Welcome to St. John's. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Today we celebrate the Nativity of the Lord. Our celebrant is Monsignor Arnholz and the different priests of our parish. Please join in singing our entrance chant number 93. O come all ye faithful, number 93. Please stand. and people. From the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him, who is God with us and Savior of all, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus came into the world that we might become God's children. Today we celebrate his coming and begin a great festival of rejoicing. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, True light, which enlightens every heart, 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, Word made flesh, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, only Son, now seated at the Father's side, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you as at a harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulders dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. For David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Savior, Christ the Lord, Christ. 
sing to the Lord all you lungs. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Today, today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day, tell his glory among the among all peoples his wondrous deed. Today, today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today, today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord, Christ the Lord. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself to for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord.
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. What child is this? This is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Strange, isn't it? that he has to be born in a stable with animals. But maybe not so strange, because when God created the heavens and the earth, the animals were first, and then he created man and woman. Jesus comes to begin a new creation of spirit. And he begins being welcomed first by the animals, then by the shepherds of little esteem or estate, and then by wise men who come from far away. They all look into the stable. They see the beautiful baby. How can you resist a beautiful baby? And Jesus comes this way that we might at least look in and see him and recognize him for who he truly is. But after the shepherds look, they go back to tending their flocks. And after the wise men look and bring their gifts, they go home. What about you and I? We look into the stable too, 
a beautiful baby. But we know that that's not the end of the story. The beautiful baby grew up to be a man. And as man and God, he taught people who would listen how he wants them to live. And he doesn't want us to just take a fleeting glance and then go back to business as usual. He would like us to take him into our homes, into our hearts, our souls, our minds, and live each day by what he asks us to do and be so clear in living it that other people will take more than a fleeting glance too, but will want to have him in their lives anew for the first time, more deeply. And isn't that our hope too? We all know that as sinners, weak human beings, we forget often enough but he keeps inviting us back again and again because his ultimate goal is to get us to be home with him one day with the Father and the Spirit, with Mary and Joseph and all the saints. What child is this? It's Christ the King. May he rule in our hearts, be clear in our minds, be deeply rooted in our souls. Then, at least in one sense, every day will be Christmas Day. In our creed tonight, when we get to the words where we usually bow our heads, we're asked to genuflect tonight in honor of this great mystery. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day of gift giving, we present our needs to the giver of all gifts and pray for our church and our world. For the church, as the body of Christ in the world, may God's abundant love inspire us in witnessing to his mercy for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord our God. For those in leadership positions, may God's way of hope and peace shape their hearts in working for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who are alienated or disconnected from the church, may the Holy Spirit touch their hearts this Christmas and restore them to unity in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For families in our faith community, may the newborn King lead us in love, restoring relationships that are broken. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died in the light of Christ, may God grant them abundant joy as they see him face to face, especially Helen Frank and Sister Agnes Cecile. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For TJ and Sally Lee, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you are present with us in every moment of our lives. Hear our needs this day and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> our giving is an act of faith and our response to God's generosity. Our sacrificial collection will now be taken. Please place both your Sunday and Christmas envelopes in today's single collection. Thank you for your faithful and generous support. Please join in singing number 98. It came upon a midnight clear, number 98.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. The praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We look at your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as to that end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. For most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to, to them, for the redemption of their souls and in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true celebrating the most sacred night on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, but the love you, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Corsuginus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protection, for protecting health. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of life eternal, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in, in the sleep of Christ, of your peace. Grant them also, Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to bake all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing number 101, Christ Our Light Has Come, number 101. Be still, let 
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcements. Please take a bulletin with you as you leave Mass today. Second, all are invited to Father, Ray, Father Ray's farewell celebration on Tuesday evening with Mass at 7.30 p.m., followed by a light reception in Conlin Hall. It is fitting that we thank Father Ray on his retirement for all his dedicated service to our parish on the Feast of St. John the Evangelist. Due to a change in printer, so third, right, due to a change in printers, Calendars for the new year will be delayed, most likely until early January. We apologize for the inconvenience, which was out of our control. Fourth, a parishioner has donated a limited number of daily meditation books for the new year. Those remaining may be found at the doors of the church. And finally, on behalf of our pastor, Monsignor Arnolds, the priests, deacons, and staff, I wish, well, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas. May we continue to celebrate and share the good news of God's love throughout the new year. Please stand. And also, I would be remiss if I didn't thank Lisa and our choir, Erin, our harpist, who helped to raise our minds and hearts to God in the beauty of song. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice, and Amen. illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 84, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 84.